happy Monday. I wanted to come on and talk with something that is about an interesting case I saw in the last week in a patient. So normally you hear this all the time for girls and boys, anybody, not to wear jewelry, not to wear earrings, especially when they're doing sports and we always wonder why, what's the big deal. Um, so typically I had always thought, oh, you know, my kids, my daughter shouldn't wear her earrings while playing soccer because there's concern that she could hurt somebody else. Or, you know, maybe I, I always thought that was the big reason is mainly like she could end up hurting somebody else in regards to jewelry that she was wearing, maybe her earring or something. And the refs are always so strict about it. So I saw a patient last week who took a soccer ball to the head. And what actually happened was the earring, I'm just going to show you guys on mine. So you can see I have all these earrings. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, in the earring back, hers was a little different than mine. It was more of like a silicone back, which was like a small kind of tube, which you see a lot on earrings. Mine are just kind of a metal back. What happened was, is she got hit with the soccer ball and the actual earring back got embedded into the ear. Now, sometimes we see earring backs get embedded into the ear um, or even up here in the cartilage. Hers happened to be in the cartilage. But sometimes what happens is those earring backs get embedded and that's from people wearing their earrings too tight. It gets infected and it grows around. And that requires you to go see the doctor because we have to manually take that out. Sometimes we have to cut it open and remove it. It's not fun, basically. So when she came to me, um, I looked at the back of her ear and I could only see, you know, the metal sharp point sticking out of her ear. The earring back had completely embedded into her ear from like the pressure of the soccer ball hitting her. So that was kind of crazy to see. Um, we couldn't manually really struggle to push it out forward, backwards. It was really in there pretty good. So it took about 30 to 45 minutes to get it out, but we did not have to cut the ear, which was a huge win. So why am I doing this video? It's mainly just a reminder to, if you can, I know it's hard with fresh piercings, but if your ears have been pierced for a while, try to take these earrings out before any type of sporting events. So basketball, cheerleading, gymnastics, even if it's practices and stuff, um, just because something like that can happen. Now, that was a small earring back, and like I said, it was more of a narrow silicone type backing, like a tube, versus these big metal ones. I don't think I've ever seen a big metal backing like that one get embedded from a trauma with a sport. Now, absolutely, if you wear your earrings too tight and it gets infected, I have 100% seen the skin overgrowing in that big metal earring back getting embedded in there. So also a reminder, if this happens, you do need to see your doctor or you do need to be seen. You don't want it sitting in there for a long time. It can get really infected. We don't want it settling in there. So we want to get in there really quickly, get that earring back out, get it cleaned and make sure you're all taken care of. So um, that was kind of a fun, interesting thing. And I hope everybody has an awesome week. Bye guys.